Hi, this is Bob Lessig in the Center for Biotechnology Education at Johns Hopkins, and today's exercise is on multiple sequence alignment. Our first objective is to first identify sequences to align, and for today's exercise we will look at heat shot protein beta 8. Now, we want to find homologous sequences to the heat shot beta 8 so that we can align orthologs of different species. So the way we do that is we take the human heat shot protein beta 8 and then run a blast search and then get the accession numbers of the sequences in the organisms that you may want to use. Once you have those accession numbers, you can go to NCBI and retrieve the multi-FAST-A formatted sequences. And then we might want to change the titles a little bit to help the alignment go a little more smoothly. Once that's done, we can run the multiple alignment and we'll look at two different programs today. And then finally, look at the results. Okay, so here's the gene record for the HSPB8 protein. It stands for heat shock protein 8, specifically beta 8, where the B comes from. And if you look at the summary, you can see the protein coded by this gene belongs to a superfamily of small heat shock proteins. It has a conservative alpha crystalline domain for C terminus. Okay, so what we want to do is retrieve that human protein. So we can do that by going to the protein link on the right menu and then retrieve the FASTA formatted sequence, and here is that protein. And I have already run that blast search, and here are the results. And you see different heat shock beta 8s from a whole bunch of different organisms. So one of the easier ways to do this is to click taxonomy reports, and when you click taxonomy reports, once you get below the organism names, you get the results sorted by organism. So, for instance, for Suscrofa, which is pig, there are four hits, so the top hit is the closest match in pig. And what I did was take down the accession number, so that the accession number for the pig protein would be XP underscore 0019296201. Copy those accession numbers for cow, mouse, frog, zebrafish, drosophila, and chicken. And here are those seven accession numbers, the human protein plus the six organisms I just mentioned. So now I can take those proteins, accession numbers, and I can search the protein database. And what that does is allow me to pull up those seven proteins and those seven proteins only. So I see the different heat shock protein 8s from various organisms. Now I want them in FASTA format. First I will click display settings and then FASTA and then apply and if you just do that what you notice is you get the FASTA formatted sequence but you also get things like links and headers and checkboxes. I want to avoid all of that. I want to get something into a format that I can use. So I'll go back to display settings and click FASTA text and apply. Okay, so now I can just copy this. This is multi FASTA formatted sequence. And I can go into any text editor. I'm going to use Notepad. And here we go. And here's the sequence in multi FASTA format. Let me expand this a little bit and we'll go to the top. Uh, I'll get rid of the space at the top. You'll see that at the very top you have a caret followed by a description. So that's the descriptive title, which is part of the sequence. Uh, part of the format for the sequence, I should say. And then here is the amino acid sequence for the human protein. Here is the descriptor for cow. And here is the amino acid sequence of the cow protein. So what I want to do to make the alignment uh, results go a little more smoothly is I'm going to get rid of all these GI numbers, etc. And this is, this is the human, so I'm just going to put human. Heat shock protein beta 8, and I can get rid of the homo sapiens at the end. Uh, Bos taurus is cow, so I'll put in cow. Uh, Mus musculus is mouse, so mouse. Xenopus lavis is frog, so here is the frog protein. Danio Ririo is zebrafish. Drosophila melanogaster is fruit fly, and I'll just call that fly. 
And then finally, Gallus. Whoops. Delete that properly. Finally, Gallus Gallus is chicken. Okay, so now I've got them in the format I want. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing, and that's going to allow me to uh, enter these sequences into multiple sequence aligners. I'm going to show you two. First, I'm going to take you to the EBI multiple sequence alignment menu, and that's you know ebi.ac.uk slash tools slash MSA, MSA for multiple alignment. And there are several programs you can run here, several pop popular ones, including Cluster Omega, Muscle, Cluster W, W2. Cluster W is one of the more used formats, but it's really dated, and it's people use it because they've heard of it, but uh, there are better programs. In fact, Cluster W is not even supported anymore. It's kind of an as-is uh, program. We'll use the newer version of Cluster W. I should say the uh, next generation version of Cluster W, which is Cluster Omega. And what you notice is that there's a window, and that's the window where you input your multifaceted formatted sequences. So I'm going to paste those in, and there are the sequences that we just entered. And I'll leave the default parameters on. I could change those if I wanted to in step two, and then submit. And it should only take a couple of seconds for these results. And here we go. And here are the proteins. You see the fly protein, zebra fish, frog, chicken, mouse, human, cow. Now it shows it that way because I changed the titles. So that was useful for me to change those titles because it only took the first word of the description. It didn't take the whole description. A uh, couple of things to notice. In the first column is an M, uh, methionine, which is not unusual. And every protein begins with an M, so you get an asterisk, meaning that the same letter appears in, in each sequence in that column. A double dot is for very similar, and a single dot is for somewhat similar. See a single dot here, we see the E, 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 R, and Q. And the, you see that in the fourth line, the sequence sort of wraps around, there are a whole bunch of asterisks and double dots, meaning that this is probably a very important region of the protein. It's highly conserved. The, the evolution doesn't tolerate many changes in this particular region because each organism has roughly the same sequence in that particular area. So that's really the important region of this protein. And the other regions are a little bit more prone to gaps and... Uh, and amino acid changes. Okay. I'll show another program called Tea Coffee, and here is the uh, Tea Coffee menu. There are different versions for different types of alignments, and we'll use the basic, which is Tea Coffee, for aligning DNA, RNA, or proteins. And we're going to input our protein sequences. And those you can see the human, the cow, the mouse, the ones we just entered. And it asks for your email address, but you don't have to put it in, uh, especially if it's a sequence that set of sequences that won't take too long to run. We only have seven, so it shouldn't be too bad. And while I'm waiting for the results, you'll, you're going to see a similar set of results, except there's a little more color in the tea coffee results. And here we go. And the color is essentially red means strongly aligned and the blue means not as strongly aligned, so that's kind of where those colors come in. And you can pretty much see that the kind of same region of the protein has a lot of the stars and asterisks, which is kind of this section that I'm sort of highlighting in white right now. Let me get off of the white. You see a lot of red, you see a lot of stars, a lot of asterisks, and that's going to be a highly conserved region of, these, of this particular protein. Uh, you might also notice the gaps are not in the same place as they were with Clustal. And uh, alignment is a difficult process, and it's often best to run a couple of alignment programs to try to see what fits your group of sequences the best and, and you know, do a little bit of manual editing afterwards. That's it for this exercise. Hopefully that will allow you to go ahead and do some multiple alignments. Good luck.